goodness, with face, Pat, and Tiz. Coming out of faces, man, I love going into my group topic this week, man. Now, it's more of a question with follow-up questions, but I think we touched, I touched on it briefly on a past episode, but I want to go more in depth in this, in, in this conversation, man, because it's so, it's, it's really prevalent in our community and just society, man, in America, it's just come, becoming more and more prevalent as I see and just look into more content and just look in different variations of content. I just see it more and more. Like, what the hell is going on online with male content creators dressing like women to get likes and laughs, man? Oh, man, this has been going on for like, a while. Like, you talking about, like, recently? <laughs> or just in general? Just, in life? No. Just in, in, in general, and it's just becoming more and more common, like more and more. It's just like I, I see it a lot, and then you see, yeah, it's I know older, like the TikTok and younger, and everything, and everything, like, like the little church lady people, are yeah, like, like yeah, I feel you, I feel you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel me? Like, like it, 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 same it, I feel you. Mm-hmm. Like my my first thing is it even funny? Um, if they're actually. If if they're actually um, how do I say it? If they're actually a homosexual or they're actually a person that feels that they are a uh, they connect more with the female gender as far as their actions and stuff, and that's their lifestyle anyway, then it don't bother me. I think it bother me if you're a straight like I I can't see a, a completely heterosexual. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The straight man. That's what I'm talking about. That, yeah. I. I can't completely say it ain't funny because I laughed at Big Mama's house. So it, it's like, I can't completely say it ain't funny, but I was also younger and I didn't all, all the way, you know, necessarily put together the context of that. It was also a different time where weird crude stuff was funny and that was always on. You had men on films. Men on films was funny as shit, but I don't know if they was, were they gay? I don't even know. Man, I don't know, but sometimes it's funny. But I think is if you're a good comedian, you gonna make anything funny. So sometimes a good comedian can make something that they didn't have to do, and they could have still been funny, but they'll do it with the dress on. But because they're a good comedian, it might come across still funny. Like Martin is a good comedian, so Big Mama's house was gonna be funny regardless of what else you replace Big Mama with. Could have, you know, what I mean, he's just a funny guy, so. It's funny when he do it. Some of these dudes online, I've seen them do it, and they'd be like, all right, what's the next video? All right, what's the next video? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think I, I'm not a fan of it. I, I would rather that if you funny, you just be funny without putting on a dress. All the people in my life that I feel like are funny to me, I've never <coughs> seen them in a dress. If they're a male and they're not Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot like aligning themselves with that gender, or that's what they feel. So like, if they're just all the straight people I know, I ain't never seen no dude in no dress. I'm trying to say it in the right way, I don't know how you. <laughs> I, don't know. I think <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like I don't know how to say the right terms or whatever the phrases is. But anyway, like all of the dudes that I hang with, I've never seen one in a dress, and I, I feel like a lot of them are hilarious. Yeah. So I, I don't. Think you got to do all that to make somebody laugh. I feel I've I've never worn a dress, and I'm pretty sure I made somebody laugh before. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you should come home just talking about uh, your job and how it's rolling. Yeah. And not, and not once, not once did I ever see you in a, uh, you know, yeah. no uh, yeah, dress or no, no, no weird, was, no sudden dresses out I probably, here. I probably wore something <laughs> weird, but not, not no dress. No. <laughs> Like, it was a weird time. It was I know a, a free a free size tee, tee down to your goddamn shins and shit. You know, I've done that. Yeah, boy. Well, we dressed like yeah, some dummies. Some like that. We dressed like yeah, some boy. Dummies. Now, with this dressing in ladies' clothing becoming more prevalent. Do you think it's desensitizing the younger male generation to that type of content or that and, and making that more normalized for them? Probably. I think if you see anything at a young age and you don't have context to it, 
then, then that's that. But you know what I mean? Like, I also feel like, like, I don't know. Like, I think that's what parents are for. Like, because usually if a kid has never seen that in their daily life and they see it on like a cartoon <coughs> or like a, 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 like one of the little kids show on Disney or something with real kids or whatever, like, they gonna come ask like, hey daddy, how that little boy got on the dress? Like, you know, like my son, like, no, nah, for real, like, cause my son asks questions like that. Like when we watch uh, cartoons or something, it's like some weird, like we watched uh, Kipo, Damn you know, right. the little boy was, uh, Damn homo- right. was a homosexual, yeah, yeah. right? So like he had a boyfriend yeah. on there and shit. And Jojo, ah! And my son was like, daddy, daddy. Uh, why why this boy, why he why he keep why he why he falling in love with him like that? Why he keep doing that? <laughs> I straight up explained to you like, hey son, sometimes other people, you know, sometimes people love who they love, son. You know, I don't know. I was like, do you feel like that's what you want to do? He was like, no, daddy, that's nasty. That's his opinion of it. Like, but he also he also thinks <laughs> getting, sometimes if it's in public and we go to give him a kiss and it's in front of his homeboy, he might he try to take that kind of come on, dad, that's nasty. So you know what this ain't <laughs> like you know all he want to do is hang with his homeboys. He he don't think of his own like that. Hell, he ain't thinking of nobody yeah. like that. He think I asked him, do you know? Are you do you want a girlfriend right now? He was like, you know, no, mommy, my mommy, my girlfriend. I'm gonna marry mommy. <laughs> like you know. He, <laughs> he ain't with all that yet. Like he ain't trying to holler at nothing yet. You know, he's six. He, he's still thinking about uh, Bakugan uh, oh, yeah. and uh whatever the new on is that the kids be on for the next, you know what I'm saying? So but anyway, like uh I think if you are if that's what parents there for them, so you can explain the things to kids and like kind of just let them know, like, hey, like <clears throat> People do what they do. You check in with them, see kind of where their head is, and guide them through that. But like at this point in life, I'm gonna be real with you. People out and they doing what they want to do. Like y'all told me about a pegging community. I want y'all to think about yeah. that. <laughs> this scary shit. Out out here. Like, it, it's random stuff going on out here that like <laughs> scares me a lot worse than. Two people consenting and doing whatever they want to do. Like, man, y'all more than like it. Y'all marry who you want to marry, have your household, do all that stuff. Cause that don't scare me. Like whatever this is over here. So I, I don't care. You know what I, I mean? And I at this it's, point, it's an it's inevitable now that like it's gonna be like whoever you are, be out there, you be that, you be proud of it. And as long as you stand on who you are, people gonna respect you. Like at this point, like. Cause the, the younger generation, they don't really care no more. It's more just like who they like. Mm-hmm. And who they like could be like a person that paint their eyebrows blue and wants to get married to a mailbox. But if the person is cool and they and the kids think that like young people think, oh, they're a good person. Like that's what they vibing off of now. It ain't necessarily about the <coughs> same hangups that we had. So like, I don't care, man. Whatever they want to do, do that. You know what I mean? I, I I don't care, bro. I really don't care. Unless it crosses my threshold, I don't even have to deal with it, to be honest. Like, all I got to do is respect it. Make sure that, they, hey, if a voting thing come up or if it's time for them to make sure that they have their rights, too, I want them to have every right there. I want people that, period, to have all of their rights. Every person, period, in the world. Like, everybody should have certain rights. That they, like, do what you do, man. I respect it. As long as you staying on it, I can respect. Like I have friends that are, you know, gay. I have friends that probably have water dress. I don't know personally, but maybe it's possible. <laughs> and it wouldn't be surprising. I grew up with a first cousin that is completely dressing up like <clears throat> makeup, like so. Eh. I don't care, man. Mm. To I this think, day, I none think, of that stuff has ever affected my life personally. So as long as they got their rights, I support it. I ride with respect it. Go do your thug thizzles. Mm-hmm. 
I still don't feel like you got to wear a dress to be funny, though. I definitely don't. It's not a necessity. See, we not talk. That's the thing. We're not talking about the other community. We just talking about heterosexual men. Uh-huh. They're doing this shit. No, I don't think they need to do it. But I think that the problem is <coughs> it's an easy laugh because of the shock factor. I think that's really what it boils down to. Sometimes, like, if you can't think of nothing else and you're a good comic, but you can't think of no, like, you really don't know what to do, or you want them online comics, you can't think of a way to, like, present your material in an original way, you go for the easiest way to get laugh and get a shock value. And it gives you a character so that you ain't got to be yourself for a minute. But the fact that you would choose that, you know, God bless everybody, man. I'm going to keep on being tears. The pod. I was, I was going to say face. People different than me. I was going to say face. I think when it comes to media, no matter whatever the subject is, if media puts mm-hmm. it up there, it's going to affect the generation a certain way, and it won't. But it'll probably be something minute. Like they'll just get more used to it now. Now, whatever, mm-hmm. it's just like what Tiz said at, at the end of the day, whatever they decide that it's cool, it's going to be whatever is cool. But mm-hmm. it's, I think on the, on the media level, it's still going to be more tolerable for people or whatever. Mm-hmm. But as far as like <clears throat> these dudes that actually do it or, or whatever, um, I think ma- majority of the time they probably have an idea or they're thinking about a situation that involves like a woman or their mom or something like that or whatever, mm. and they don't have a female that's funny that can get to at that time, or whatever. So they just go ahead and find that, that same robe. I don't know why they use the same robe. Every last one of them <laughs> use the same exact robe in each video, or whatever. Which <laughs> You as a man, you may not have, you may not have a dress handy, you know, I understand that. I it, it actually makes it a bit more tolerable because I don't want to actually see. Now, if you went out there and actually went, that that's a little extra. But <laughs> they got the same, and they go into that mode. And I mean, some of them are funny, and then some of them is just like after a while. After a while, it's like you're doing the same thing that did that guy did that that guy did that guy guy did. It just gets redundant. It's like we all right. You're just okay. You think it's going to be even funnier because you're the guy that's doing it now. You're not looking mm-hmm. at the fact that you are the one hundred one hundred and tenth person in the line mm-hmm. that's done that or whatever with the same robe. Whatever. I, I wish they would get a different robe. Get a new robe, man. I got a robe with a hood on it. It's the get same. It's the same hotel robe. That's that's the main robe. thing that disturbed me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they turning yeah. their do rags <laughs> into uh, head wraps so they can look like the women with their mm-hmm. head wraps and stuff. Well, mm-hmm. Not man. But all right. Now my uh, final question. My final question on this topic. All right. Now, we all know it's heterosexual men dressing as women, but when it comes to the women dressing as men mm-hmm. for laughs, do y'all see a difference in the approach and the, the cross dressing for a laugh? Or is it just all for comedy? Or is it a real difference between a man doing it and a woman doing it? Or is it no true difference? Do you find women dress, women as men the same caliber as funny as a man dressing as a woman for the shock value? I find it's the same thing, man. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not. Because like mm-hmm. Roseanne Barr, when Roseanne Barr did it at that baseball game and she came out there trying to act like she was a male baseball player when she sung the national anthem, that wasn't funny. Wasn't funny. But, you know what I mean, you might have... Uh, trying to think what woman done done that that I... Uh, I've seen some of these online uh, online comedians, YouTube comedians or whatever, they'll do that from time to time, but I kind of allow mm-hmm. it because I'm more I, I'm more I, I'm used to women dressing up in men clothes more than I'm used to men dressing That's in it. women it's clothes. It's not as much of a shock to yourself. Mm-hmm. You see it more often. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm not even talking about like Butch or you know the. I hope I pay nobody if they if I say if Butch is like a bad word or whatever because I, I don't know anymore or good. whatever. But the, the, <laughs> the, the girls that she, I don't know. the girl that just the the type of, of lesbian that just dress dress up just straight up like a a, a man or whatever <laughs> whatever. I'm not even talking about them. I'm, you know, it's just it's some girls that just they get male clothes and they rock with it, whatever. Mm. Do y'all know? Is it? I mean, yeah. is it a bad word? No, it I is. don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No I don't think it is. No. Like I have a. No right, so put it like this. I have a. I have a lesbian couple that's like two of my best friends, right? But I don't know what the terms are because when we hang out, <laughs> nobody ever calls anybody anything but their name. So we just be chilling like it's your friend. So yeah, I, yeah, that's, you don't think about like using no certain phrase, and you just be chilling and talking, and it just and be that, like normal. So I don't know oh what none of this. A, a normal up. conversation don't come up I to you. So know, what? Like what that look like? So what kind of lesbian are you? Are you a uh, you one of the bushmans? What, what do you want? Like nobody's gonna say that in the conversation. Oh, you the picture of the catcher. Uh, so what kind of lesbian are you? Like nobody's gonna do that. If like, I hope would, nobody's doing would that. Mess with it. I would. I would put the name of this episode. <laughs> so what kind of lesbian are you? Can't <laughs> ask somebody. That. I mean. You would get punched in the face, I especially get, if it's one of I mean. them that you would consider as a butch or whatever you say. I mean, I, I would definitely I get you punched in the old young M.A. would knock you the fuck out. I mean, and I'll never, I mean, I would never do that because my common sense <laughs> says not to do that. But I hope there's nobody out there that's actually doing that. Like, hey. Bruh. Or any other way. You don't have to put the hey in it. Just, just, you know, just don't ask I'm that. I'm Okay, we're gonna reel it I'm sorry, y'all. Reel it back in. Reel up, rewind. Reel up, rewind. As you were saying, things, you know, I, I have fuckery with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got man. Going Shit got wild. Man. That, that oh, one my God. Ass, huh? Good Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> that did not go. Pray for me. Please pray for me. <laughs> Bro, uh, yeah, basically, oh, yo, you ain't got, you ain't got to do nothing to so yourself. So you funny. If you funny, you funny. But yeah, the fucker we got. Yeah, and I ain't even had to wear a dress to make them laugh, y'all. I'm wearing an X-Men shirt, and okay. I got on my sons out guns out shirt. Cause we like, <laughs> ain't even the rest of it. Cause we at the gun show, and we like to get them guns out. Cha 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 c